The day began at Congo Square as Take Him Down Nola prepared to second line through the streets of New Orleans. This is what democracy looks like. This is what democracy looks like. As the city plans to remove three remaining Confederate monuments, they call today a celebration of the decades-long struggle that the black community of New Orleans has waged to rid the city of what they say are symbols of white supremacy. The fight that we're waging is against the city fathers of this, country, of this city who have refused to uh, bring about genuine equality and freedom for the black people here. Our streets! Our streets! There's a rise of the right, especially the fascist right in this country that's going on, and we have to stand up against it. It's very important to absolutely stop in its track this long legacy of racism you know, that came out of slavery. It's very important to stand up to it because there are people who don't want it to die. Marching through the French Quarter and then through the CBD. The crowd made its way to Lee Circle. Where they came face to face with several groups protesting the removal of the Confederate monuments, including the Ku Klux Klan and the League of the South. It's a part of our cultural heritage and we want it to stay. Uh, we understand that most of us can only be here for a day, but it's a symbolic gesture of uh, standing up for what we believe in. That man is one of the greatest generals that the, the United States ever had. It stands for racism. Bull some came dressed in helmets, tactical gear, and holding shields, appearing to be ready for a battle. But with a large police presence, they instead fought with words. People need to get over it and quit being offended. We will not allow leftist, militant activist organizations like Antifa go to these kind of events and hinder our constitutional right to free speech and assembly. Loser! Commie! Pop smoking! Hey, hey! Ho, ho! An issue that continues to be a hot point for the Crescent City. Winton Yates, Eyewitness News.